Faith and healthcare may not sound like they go together, but for emerging inner city medical clinics, it's a life saving combination. Like the health unit on Davidson Avenue in Metro Detroit, also known as HUDA, and the Church Health Center in Memphis, Tennessee. These clinics provide health care for the working uninsured, and with roughly 15% uninsured Americans, according to 2012 U.S. Census reports, it's a good thing they do. Dr. Mitchell Sanfedine is the most recent chairman of the board of directors for the Huda Clinic in Detroit. He says the center offers free health services, including basic health assessments, diabetes testing, and even provides free medication and antibiotics. But basically, if you don't have insurance, we try to provide the medical services that you need, and we also have some counseling to get you onto an insurance program. Other services include eye exams and mental evaluations, and if somehow the professional physicians there can't find a solution to your problem, then they'll make a referral. Now you might be wondering how all this is funded. Well, that's where the Muslim faith plays a large role. This is established you know, by the Muslim community in the spirit of, of charity. We have volunteer doctors who who provide services at no charge. One of those doctors and the newly appointed chairman at the clinic is Dr. Jupaku Tayeb. He says most patients come in with chronic health problems, which the clinic provides solutions for. Whatever is needed, we have access to, and then we come up with a treatment plan, and then the medications are dispensed in the, for the clinic, so all those are completely free of charge. But it's not just Muslim faith that is getting involved in health services. The Church Health Center in Memphis provides similar resources, also using faith as a factor. Dr. Scott Morris is the CEO of the Church Health Center, a family practice physician, and a Methodist minister. Like Huda, the center provides health care for the uninsured. Church Health Center believes that people should live a life well lived, and to do that is not just about the absence of disease, but, but we also believe that the community of faith should be involved in helping people have those opportunities. Moore says the center is privately funded and cares for around 60,000 people. The center offers a range of medical resources and even a dental clinic, night clinic, preschool, and housing project. So what we're not about is trying to solve the great social problems in America. I do not know how to do that. So we exist to try to engage communities of faith to say, how do we care for our bodies as well as our spirits, and how do we care for the poor? One service they offer is through the walk-in clinic, which can treat anyone that needs to be seen immediately, ranging from the common cold to a broken leg. The cost for this kind of professional care? $35 no matter what the problem. That's where our thousand volunteer doctors come into play. So the best orthopedic surgeons in Memphis donate their time to see our patients, and then Every hospital, every laboratory in the city will provide their services for free. So it's really an amazing way that the medical community of Memphis gives back. So maybe the combination of faith and health care isn't typical. But faith, no matter what religious affiliation, seems to be powerful in shaping communities nationally and providing care to those who need it. Jesus said the poor will always be with you. So far he's been right. And uh, it's for that reason that we will continue to grow and expand and, and do what we believe that the community of faith is supposed to be doing. For the Huda Clinic, Sanfedine says providing health care in Detroit has already impacted his community. Being healthy allows him to go to work and go to school. And so it's very, very important. And we, we're proud of the impact that we're making to, to help the community with their health care needs. The cure for national health care hasn't been found yet. But these centers are helping provide the care their community needs, one clinic at a time. With your Impact News, I'm Carmen Scruggs.